Title, Fire Island Jane Doe Revealed, The Twisted Tale of Gilgo Beach Mystery Unravels Yet Again. TL, DR, authorities have finally put a name to the remains found during the Gilgo Beach murder investigation. Karen Vergata, a 34-year-old escort, was identified as the victim known as Fire Island Jane Doe. Despite having the alleged killer of other victims in custody, the authorities haven't yet charged anyone for Vergata's murder. A gruesome saga unravels, with DNA technology as a star player. Who did it? Why was no missing persons complaint filed? A name behind the mystery. Karen Vergata vanished on Valentine's Day in 1996, but her remains were found not just once but twice, first in 1996, then in 2011. A recent genealogical review finally led to her identification. How could someone just vanish without a missing persons report? Rex Hoyman, architect and accused serial killer? Rex Hoyman, the 59-year-old architect, has been charged with three counts of first-degree murder. But is he the killer of Vergata as well? Suffolk County's DA isn't saying. Hoyman himself denies all charges, but will the discarded pizza crust DNA be his downfall? Is DNA evidence enough to bring a killer to justice? Gilgo 4 and the Nightmare of Long Island Between 2010 and 2011, Almost a dozen sets of human remains were found, leading to a captivating and terrifying murder mystery. Netflix drama, best-selling book, and now real-life updates, this case has it all. But will justice be served for every victim? A DNA break in an unsolved crime. Hoyerman's discarded pizza crust linked him to the crimes, but there are no charges for Vergata's death. Though DNA analysis identified the remains, investigators continue to work on the case. How many more secrets does the Gilgo Beach case hide? And is DNA the new Sherlock Holmes of the crime-solving world? An unsolved chapter. While Vergata's identity is no longer a mystery, her killer remains unidentified. Why was no missing person's complaint filed when she went missing? How did the same body's remains appear in two different locations? The questions keep piling up. Will we ever know the full story? Proximity and doubt. Hoyerman lived less than six miles from where the remains were found. Could this proximity be a mere coincidence? Or is it a significant clue? Will more victims be found, or are there others who escaped the killer's grasp? Only time, and relentless investigation, will tell. A legacy of questions. With the discovery of Karen Vergata's identity, a chapter in the Gilgo Beach mystery has been closed, but countless questions remain. The entire case has become a symbol of both technological advancements in criminology and the endless complexity of human nature. Question, who else may have played a role in this ongoing investigation? Is the justice system prepared to handle such convoluted cases using emerging DNA technology? What does this case tell us about our society's approach to missing persons, especially those who work in professions like Vergata's? Could there be more victims still waiting to be identified? Disclaimer. This article is intended to provide information regarding a current criminal investigation. It does not contain any legal or investment advice and does not reflect the views or recommendations of Turned Up News. The information contained within this article is based on the latest updates from the authorities and is subject to change.